So Julie, are you a bourbon girl? Are you a wine kind of a gal? What's your, when pick your, your house, poison. Um, when I'm with a country music singer, I'm definitely bourbon. Okay, great. For sure. We're gonna put this bar to work. I told you every you song work. is about drinking. Every country music Honestly, song. You know, it's either, it's about drinking trucks or dogs. Broken or your mama, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your mama broke my heart in the back of the truck with my booze and my dog. <laughs> your dog. And my dog ran away. Okay, so what we're going to do here is this is a Luxardo cherry, which is They're the delicious. most delicious kind of cherry. And this is not a traditional, traditional, okay. old-fashioned. Um, I'm going to muddle a little of this orange in with the cherry juice. Okay. I'm stealing and taking credit for Jeff's recipe. This is my husband's recipe. It's basically the same. Once you're married that long, we, yeah. it's all the same. I like to use rye, and we're going to go just about two ounces. Oh, she knows what she's doing, people. Maybe I could actually stir it for you once. And then, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> is good. it too strong for you? It's strong. It's strong. How is but the I'm, sugar? I'm drinking with a country music singer. I'm not I'm gonna, gonna be a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> I like the soft gray blue kind of color. It's really pretty. You know, gray has become my new best friend. As long as I can play with other things around mm -hmm. it, and it, then it doesn't feel boring. You know. I heard a and designer say gray makes every other color look better. Oh, if everything is loud, nothing is loud. If everything's special, nothing's special. Right. And as a creative, I mean, day to day, you're doing so much. How do you stay inspired? I have a really special crew of girls that I think are kind of almost like my creative engine. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I think we all keep each other inspired and we can bat creative ideas around. Yes. Like, it's fun to put your hat on, your creative hat on, and think about someone else's business. Where it's like, and just a can... fresh eye. I mean, I'm fr yes. So what's next for you? I'm getting back into writing a little bit more regularly, and I hope to start recording by the end of this year. OK. Um, but I've got to write the songs first. <laughs> and I'm feeling really intimidated, because spending so much time with other people's songs uh -huh. on a daily basis just makes me aware of what I want to be capable of. Right. And or what's out there and what you want to be different. And yeah. Yeah. You're yes. so knowledgeable. And you know everything that's out there at this well, point. Well, I don't feel that way, but I'm definitely, as you know, it's hard to listen to a Chris Stapleton record right. and not be like, well, I should just give up. <laughs>